another vlog. This is gonna be just a couple days in my life, but Jordan and I are headed to a new Fogo the Child location. Um, it's in Linwood and we're super excited to try their food. I don't eat a lot of meat, but I'm gonna just do it for the vibes today, okay? But let me show you guys the fit really quick. Okay. I'm wearing my H&M sweater, my dish tank, my status anxiety purse, dish satin skirt, and then my sambas. Anyways, I am super excited for this Fogo the Chow event. about 30 minutes before we can go in so we're just hanging out in the car we were trying to figure out what to do but we decided to just hang out here since it's raining outside but we'll be headed in shortly Place area that was really really beautiful the whole layout but um, the options were minimal for like a vegan or vegetarian um, minimal to like a certain extent but um, their papaya was really good they had some really good traditional Brazilian like dishes but just lots of meat I had one bite of beef and never again it's just like not my thing um but yeah we're back home i'm gonna hop into bed it is pretty late this experience was pretty long i had to shoot a lot of content for it <sighs> but i'm headed to bed and i'll be up tomorrow bright and early getting stuff done anyways i'll talk to you guys tomorrow we just got back from picking up some coffee from mainstay provisions i got a lemon poppy seed muffin that was so so good chef's kiss i remember the first time we went to mainstay provisions i think i talked about it here on the vlog and we just didn't like it but i'm realizing now that we ordered the wrong things i remember we ordered a grilled cheese that was like very mid and then a caesar salad that was just like very very earthy like not much flavor to it um and that was like our fault i think because that's just like they're a very um how do I say like very clean products they use very clean products which I absolutely love that about restaurants but it was just like very earthy and not that great and then Jordan and I went last week weekend and it was so good I got a lavender latte that was like chef's kiss and then we got they had just baked focaccia we went in the morning and we got like fresh like warm pastries so stinking good guys then today I was craving it this morning so we went back this time I got a vanilla latte that is a 10 out of 10. 
Jordan also got a vanilla latte and then we got the lemon poppy seed and then we headed over to Rachel's Bagels and Burritos in Ballard. And that is honestly my absolute favorite like breakfast burrito place, hands down. I was never a breakfast burrito girly before I went to Rachel's. Um, just so good. Top tier burrito for sure. It's literally just egg, Oaxaca cheese, and then, um, potato. Just so good. It was just so, it's always like piping hot and just so loaded. We shared a burrito because I could not eat a full burrito by myself. But anyways, it is Saturday. We're going to drive over to Costco because we're running extremely low on gas. So we're going to come back. I woke up this morning, guys. I was in such a cleaning mood. I was up at like 6 a.m. and I could not sleep, so I woke up, showered, and then I deep cleaned the apartment. I was literally done cleaning the apartment by like 8.30. So um, we went in to Main State Provisions at like 9. We were out like getting breakfast and like nobody was up yet, so that was also just like really peaceful. I feel like mornings in Seattle are the most peaceful when it's like 9 a.m. So that's like what we've started doing. <sighs> But anyways, yeah, it feels like it's been a productive day. I think my in-laws and my brother are driving down and we might be hitting up a tulip farm that is north of us. Um, so we'll see if we end up doing that. It's still, it's like about an hour away, but we might grab lunch with them and then head up to the tulip farm, maybe go on a little hike slash walk. We'll see. But anyways, we are at U Village and we're just gonna pick some things up here that we need really quick and then we're headed to Costco to get that gas. We have been wine tasting today. We came to Woodenville, Washington and we went to Vivi's Pizzeria and then we are currently at Valdemar Estate, which is a Spanish winery. It is so, so delicious. Um, there was one in Walla Walla where I worked or went to school actually, went to school at Walla Walla University and there was a Baltimore Estates there but now we're at the one in Woodenville because I saw they opened one and I thought it would be super fun. We're here with our friends Lynn and Luke and it's such a cute location. Anyways, we are just going to wine taste around here in Woodenville and we're gonna go get some cinnamon rolls from Seattle Cinnamon Co. We're about to walk over. But I just want to share with you guys, if you've never been to Woodenville and you live in Seattle, you have to go because it's just so cute. It's such a cute little town. There's so many good wineries around here that you have to try. Anyways, I'll chat with you guys later and I'll bring you guys along our little wine tasting endeavor. You already missed Vivi's, Pizzeria, and Valdemar Estate, but I'll make sure to take you everywhere else we go. going on with the lighting but 
it's a sunny day in Seattle and it's so nice. I met with my friend Danny and we shot a little fit pic and then I um, picked up a couple things that I was wanting um, from a couple shops in Ballard. Um, but I had a lot of stuff to shoot today and edit and I did that for most of the morning. I caught up with my best friend Kai for a little. I literally hadn't talked to her for like a month, which is like the longest I think I've gone without talking to her. Um, I've just been like super MIA with everyone. But anyways, I do not know what we're doing tonight for dinner. But I did get a workout in today, so I feel very, very accomplished. But I do want to go on a walk since it's sunny and take Miss Layla Bean on a little walk. I think that'd be super fun. But anyways, I don't really know what I'm like craving for dinner. Um, I was thinking falafel wraps because I think we have something for that. I was hoping to make some salsa so we can maybe do like these uh, vegan quesadillas. But I didn't get to doing that kind of clean the apartment before leaving just so that we could come back to a clean apartment before we make dinner but anyways guys I don't know why I am so tired I feel like I've been having the worst sleep lately Layla like I don't know if I've told you this before maybe I have but she always will like whine at me at night to like jump on the bed which is just like obviously disturbs my sleep 100% and she only sleeps on my side. She doesn't sleep on Jordan's side. She'll literally have to be right up. Her body has to be right up against me. She'll like nestle her head in my neck. Like she's always like, she'll take my pillow. Like she'll lay across my whole pillow. Just like kick me off of it. I don't know why it's giving like we have like a literal child. But yeah, I feel like she's always like bothering me at night and not really Jordan for some reason. It's not like I'm up for a while, but she just keeps like waking me up and it really disturbs my sleep. And so I think I'm just super tired lately. But anyways, I have a puzzle, a new puzzle. It's a really beautiful like landscape of New York and I think I wanna start that one tonight. I think this one's gonna be a little bit harder than the last one we did. The last one was so beautiful though and Jordan and I were really into it. We like finished it in one night, which was really awesome. But yeah, I think we're gonna do puzzle, dinner, and a walk. I think that's what we're doing for today. It's Monday, so we're just gonna take it slow. Fun evening I got in yesterday but um, today I 
I've just been having fun. I was just at a cute little market. Sorry, I'm like looking around. There's a baby like just smashing into my windows. I hope he doesn't find a way to get in. But anyways, I went into the Helvation Market near my aunt's house and I got this little apricot lemonade because I was thirsty, but I didn't check. I need a little bottle opener and I clearly can't drink this right now. I got cotija cheese because we are making tacos at my aunt's house right now and um, they were out of cheese so I picked some up. I saw it here. They went to Costco. They didn't find it so I got some here. I was pretty surprised because it doesn't seem like they carry like cotija cheese and stuff like that. Then I got taffy. I got a huckleberry flavor, a mixed berry, and then I think this was like raspberry. Just got a couple for my brother and I to try. I'm gonna try one right now though. I'm gonna do the mixed berry. And then I got this really cute little like Portland postcard. I think I'm gonna frame it and put it in the bathroom. I think it's so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, this bee is scaring me. It's a big bee and I really hope it doesn't get in. Because I remember growing up, we somehow had bees in our car. And I'm like, how did you get in? How did you find a way? I don't get it. Anyways, I'm headed to my aunt's. Um, later I'm meeting up with my girls Jocelyn and Lentil and we're gonna go get um, a little bit of ice cream which I'm really excited about I'm excited to see them um, yeah it's been a very relaxing trip just been kind of doing whatever my heart desires um, but I also need to go find Jordan's birthday gift a piece of it I've already got most of it but there's still some things I want to get him um, and Oregon is tax free, so I might as well take advantage of that. But anyways, I'm gonna try the mixed berry toffee. It's okay. It tastes old for some reason. Give it a solid five out of 10. Anyways, I am going to head to my aunt's house right now. I'm so excited for tacos. My mom is over at her house. And then I think we're gonna go furniture shopping with my aunt as well before I meet up with the girls. She really wants to find a new couch. It's her day off, so I told her I would accompany her because she really wanted some help finding a cute little couch. So I think I'm gonna do that. But otherwise, I'm just living large in Portland. Happy Friday guys. It is Friday and it is sunny in Seattle and I honestly could not be happier but I just wanted to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for joining the vlog. I know this week was a little sporadic and a little all over the place but I was road tripping for most of it and I could not remember or remind myself to like vlog for the life of me. So that's why it's a little sporadic but I had such a blast in Portland with my family and seeing friends. Um as well as my day-to-day -day life in Seattle has been pretty chill lately. So yeah, just enjoying it. And I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't. And yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.